awarded a corner following that touch. The delivery. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Oh, a goal! And an own goal at that. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box. And we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It is Juventus up against Inter. Well, Derek, what a game this should be. Both teams have done really well to get this far, but who will be lifting the cup at the end of the game? I'm sure it'll be a classic, though. A game that should have plenty to say for itself. Juventus take it for Juventus. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Can he put them in front? Oh, a goal for Juve! It's the opening statement in the final. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then from that sort of range, Neymar was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, here's Ronaldo, and the challenge halts them in their tracks. A danger here as he runs at them. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this, on an occasion like this? Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Kylian Mbappe. Neymar. Sumptuous pass from Neymar. And could it be Cristiano Ronaldo? Oh, and it goes to propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, let's just see this again. What a pass this is from Neymar. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. Could be. What an important piece of defending. Oh, it's a penalty. How about that? And at this late stage, too, an opportunity for them to level matters. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Oh, he's guessed correctly. Saved it. The cross is on. Oh, I can't believe it. Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Do we have in store for us? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Federico Chiesa. On to Messi. Lionel Messi. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look at the 
the defender here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Now Messi, opportunity it is, wonderful challenge, but the chance is still on. And there goes the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught, memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup.